Stan the Annuity Man here, excited to answer this question. Is a pension the same as an annuity? Yeah, pretty much. Because what they both do is provide a lifetime income stream that you cannot outlive. So, for all the haters out there that hate annuities, I hate annuities, all annuities stink, all annuities, whatever, then you need to also say, I hate my pension. I hate my pension that comes in every single month and I'm never going to outlive it because I hate annuities. Because I say I hate annuities, then I have to say I hate all pensions. See how stupid that sounds? So yeah, annuities and pensions are the same thing. So the question is, do you need an annuity? If you already have a pension, then congratulations, you're one of the few. But if you have a pension, do you need an additional income stream to complement that? Or if you're one of the many that don't have a pension, do you need an annuity to create your own personal pension plan? Because in essence, that's what an annuity will do. So today in this thrilling video, I'm going to cover all of the things about annuities you need to know. And for all the stuff that I miss, I'm going to send you these six annuity owner's manuals that I have laboriously, is that a word, written on your behalf. And I will ship them to you for free under no obligation and no cost because I'm such a nice guy. So hang in there with me. Let's dig in. All right, so pension and annuity. So if you're looking at your pension, let's just say you're getting a pension, you need to make sure that the company backing up those guaranteed payments can pay them and claims paying ability. Same thing applies to the annuity world. You need to make sure that you're putting your money with a company that can pay that guarantee for the rest of your life. So with that being said, it's important to understand that you can customize the structuring of the contract. In other words, you can say, I just want it for my life or I want it for my life and a spouse partner life. I want to make sure that all the money goes to the beneficiaries if, if I die or if both of us die. You just have to answer two questions. What do I want the money to contractually do? When do I want those contractual guarantees to happen? In a pension world, either want the income to start right now or you want it to start later. Depending on how you answer those questions, we will quote all carriers for the best contractual guarantees for your specific situation. And you can use your IRA money, you can use your non-IRA money, you can use Roth IRA money, you can transfer your 401k to a, to a rollover IRA type situation, and then we can use that, the IRA money to quote there. So you just have to be very specific on what you want to achieve. We can either quote a lump sum or you can have a solve for a specific monthly income amount that you wanna see hit your bank account every single month. Okay, so why is all this important? You, you, go, you went 100 miles an hour stand on the quoting and the structuring and all that stuff. So understand that quoting annuities is like buying a plane ticket. You quote all carriers, it's like a gallon of milk. The, the, the quotes, they expire every seven to 10 days. Um, and you gotta make sure that uh, if you're not moving forward with the paperwork, then we have to requote it and that's fine. The reason that the, the quoting and the structuring is important is because you're planning for your family. This is important. I mean, you're, you're making sure that when your Learjet hits the mountain, things are set up for your family. Now, great story, guy calls me the other day and he says, I wanna make sure that my wife and I have a, a lifetime income stream and, and we need to start in about 30 to 60 days. So that's an immediate annuity quote, fine. So the question I asked him after that, I said, okay, do you wanna make sure the money that let's just say you pass, the money continues uninterrupted and unchanged for your wife's life. And then she passes away and there's money still left in the account. What do you want that money to do? Do you just want it to go poof and you, you guys have the highest payout, which is kind of a joint life only structure? And he said, no, I actually, you know, as much as my kids have driven me crazy and I went, uh-huh, uh, got that. Uh, I want them to get the money, but Stan, I don't want them to get a lump sum. And my joke to people all the time is, your kids are going to show up at your funeral in a Ferrari anyway, so have them be making payments on it, right? So what we did is we set it up joint life with installment refund. Now, what does that mean in English, Stan? What that means is it's joint life income stream that neither of you can outlive, but when the second person dies, whatever's left in the account is paid in payment form, that same payment amount to the list of beneficiaries. And you can list as many beneficiaries as you want. So if you have two kids, then each of them is gonna get half of that payment. But pretty good legacy as well. Understand though, 
that if you outlive your life expectancy, there might not be any money at all in the account, even though the annuity company's on the hook to pay you. So tough luck to the kids. But what you're trying to do in a joint life with installment refund setting is make sure that all that hard-earned money that you work for is going to be paid to either you, your wife, or the family, and the annuity company's on the hook to pay regardless of how long you live. Okay, it's important to understand that you know, and I think I covered this in the last, but I need to just kind of make sure you understand it. Annuity payments for life, you know, lifetime income payments, are based on your life expectancy, if it's just you, or life expectancies, if it's joint with a spouse or partner, at the time you take the payment. Obviously, the older you are, the higher the payment. Think of your Social Security. You know, you wait till age, whatever, 70, and your payment's higher. Same thing, same principle with annuity payments. The, the longer you wait, the older you are, the higher the payments. It's really that simple. So, um, I encourage you to go to this video here. I dug a little deeper on a single premium immediate annuity and how it works because if you're looking at pensions and annuities, is a pension like an annuity? The answer is yes. So if you want to dig further, single premium immediate annuities, I did a really good video on that and dug deeper because a pension is really a single premium immediate annuity. Now, you can structure it any way you want. You can turn it into a deferred income annuity and do income later but that's your call. So let's talk about how you get the books. First of all, I need you to do one thing. Subscribe, please subscribe. And you say, why, Stan, are you so adamant about that? It's because I'm putting out a new video every day. I'm gonna set the world record. My goal is Guinness Book of World Records. Who has the most YouTube videos? Now, we got a ways to go. I know for a fact that that crazy Stan the Annuity Man has done one or is gonna do one. And if he hasn't done one, you could email me at stan at stantheannuityman.com and I'll do one. It's that simple. Now, to fill in the gaps of all the stuff that I missed and forgot to say today, I'm gonna to send you my annuity owner's manuals, which you need to have if you're thinking about any type of annuity purchase, because I go through the limitations and the benefits and all that stuff. Click the more info button underneath me and there'll be a drop down and you'll see where you can sign up for the books and I will ship them in a very shiny gold foil mailer. Hold that thought. It looks like that. Yes, that's what's coming in. So um, I appreciate you joining me. See you next time.